Hey guys, <clears throat> it's uh, it's Clone Wars, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, Leviona, the Primordial Chaos Dragon, or however you say it. Um, so Chaos Dragon, just a couple days after I post the Chaos Dragon deck, this comes out, so. Well, not came out, but you know, it's been revealed. Um, doesn't say where it's going to be from, oh wait, yes it does, Soul Fusion. So it's going to be from Soul Fusion, whatever that is in uh, Japan. So basically, this is a really good step up to the Chaos Dragons than just having Chaos Emperor Dragon and Black Cluster Soldier on the way of the beginning. So it's a Dark Dragon type level 8 monster with 3,000 attack and 0 defense. And its effect reads that it cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be first special summoned from your hand by banishing three light and or dark monsters from your graveyard. When summoned this way, you can apply the appropriate effect based on the attributes of the monster banished for its special summon. Also, this card cannot attack this turn. You can only use the effect of Levion, the Primordial Chaos Dragon, once per turn. Light only. Special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position. Dark only. Shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. Light and dark. Destroy up to two cards on the field. So, the downside is it has to be three. Upside is it can be anything. That, that, that's pretty good. Uh, light only a uh, special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position. So that means no link monsters. You can't special summon Borload. Let's face it, Borload is probably the only dragon you're actually using in Chaos Dragons. But we'll just preference that because it's the only dragon I really use as a link for. So, we'll Borload, Boral Sword, or any of the Boral Guards. Uh, Saruja. There you go. Yeah. None of that. So you can do Link, or not not Link, but you can do Synchro, so you can bring back your Crystal Wing. You can do Xyz, bring back Dark Rebellion? Hmm? Oh. And you can bring back as a fusion, I don't know, either probably Supreme King Starting Venom Drag, Supreme King, Starting Venom Fusion Dragon, or Five-Headed Dragon? Eh? One of those. Uh, dark only. Shuffle one random card. So that's pretty much... All um, oh, that Monarch. Uh, I used to play against him all the time. I hate it. Uh, it's the dark one. The one that's not Mega Caius. Uh, I can't remember his name. But that, yeah. That card as well. So shuffling into your hand, you know, have them. If you have this go first, they're going to have a five card hand instead of a six card starting hand. So... That's not too bad, but it's not it's not great at all, too. Uh, light and dark destroy two cards in the field. It doesn't target. It does destroy, though, but it doesn't target, so you have to have upside to the downside. Uh, I just wish it sent. Um, but with it being 3k and zero defense, it's searchable by Melody of Awakening Dragon. It's also a trade-in target, so that means there's going to be trade-in and melody in the deck because this is searchable and so is the new chaos emperor dragon so <sighs> the new chaos the chaos deck is going to change just based on these two dragons coming out and it's going to be great and i'm going to love it because chaos emperor dragon i've never been able to play with it but it's one of the coolest cards and one of the most overpowered cards in history and it's what literally started the Yu-Gi-Oh ban list so i really hope you guys enjoyed i can't wait for this card to come out and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one see you later